Hi friends, I have a book for you today called The Very Best Day, The Way of Love for Children in a beautiful color. Roger Hutchinson is the author of this book and it's based on The Way of Love, written by our presiding bishop, Michael Curry. So it begins with turn. On a warm spring day, when the sky is pale blue, I pull on my boots and go to the flower garden with you. We pick some flowers. I choose a pink one. You choose white. We begin to dance and laugh with delight. We fill a vase with water that is cool to the touch, almost to the top, but not too much. In go the flowers. Be gentle, you say. This has been a colorful day. So look at all these beautiful flowers. That would make a beautiful bouquet. Night falls softly, and I say a prayer. I give thanks for the garden and you taking me there. Thanks for my family, the sunlight, and Jesus' love. I drift off to sleep as the stars twinkle above. What ways do I grow when I turn to Jesus' love? So here's the night sky with stars. You see the moon and a house. The next section is learn. I awake to light filling my room. The smiling sun replaced the quiet moon. It's a new day and I am ready to learn. How ice freezes, what makes a fire burn. We learn new things when awake and falling asleep. We even learn when counting sheep. We learn at school, at church, and on the playground. We learn about the earth and what makes it go round. It's not always easy. I want to give in. I must work hard and try again and again. At the farm, we learn about horses, cows, and hay. This has been a growing day. Look at this picture. The sun, look at the fields, some water. Beautiful, what a beautiful day. We learn about Jesus, his miracles, and his love. We learn that God sent him from above. How can you learn more about Jesus and his love? And here's the picture of Jesus. Look at that, the beautiful blue behind it. The next section is pray. When thankful or afraid, I say a prayer. I know in my heart that Jesus is there. With hands raised high or down on my knees, I cry out and he calms the rough seas. Sometimes I hurt and want to hide. I'm not alone, he's by my side. Jesus always loves me and shows me the way. This has been an emotional day. Look at those rough seas. And in those rough seas, Jesus is there. At a table, his friends were gathered there. With gentleness and love, he taught them this prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. When do you pray? What do you say when you talk to God? There are praying hands with the bread and the cup. Our next section is worship. On Sunday morning, I go to church with family and friend. The song of the bells carried on the wind. We sing, we pray, we bow our head. With hands outstretched, we receive the bread. He gave his life so that we might live. 
It's his love and peace that we must give. The greeters and ushers show us the way. This has been a holy day. So I want you to look at this picture. We have a dove that's on a pole like this. And some of you have been able to move that around our sanctuary space. Isn't that wonderful? We are at a time where we're not able to worship together in our space. And we look forward to that time where we can be together again. Sometimes we kneel, more often we stand. After worship we play, our clothes covered in sand. There is time for Sunday school and snack. We learn about Jesus' miracles. I can't wait to come back. Worship is holy. It's special and good. Want to come with me? I think you should. And here they are. Can you tell what holiday that is? You would know. It's Palm Sunday. See the palms? And Jesus on the back of a donkey. Hmm. We're coming up on that time. The next section is bless. Some days I'm so happy I feel my heart might burst. Other days I'm sad and angry. Those are the worst. You give me a hug and remind me you're here. I cuddle in close, even shed a tear. A hug, a smile, an enormous grin. Love like Jesus and you'll feel peace within. Meeting someone new takes focus and work. It's hard to be a friend with a frown or a smirk. It be generous, be kind, and invite them to play. This has been a loving day. Look at that big hug. Do you like hugs? I like hugs. The way of love is the path we must go. We know this because Jesus tells us so. Be a blessing, a joy, a good listener. You, my child, are Jesus's missioner. You are a blessing. Can you name the ways? And here we are reaching out our hand in love to another person. That's part of what we do. The next section is go. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord, the priest will say. The heavy doors open and we are sent on our way to home, to school, and to work we must go, spreading his love so that others will know. Sharing stories of healing, baskets of fish and Mother Mary. Never forget the heavy cross that Jesus did carry. We run, we jump, we stumble along the way. This has been an active day. Look at this beautiful cross. Mm. Lace up those shoes and tie them on tight. Be strong, be bold, don't give up the fight. Jesus' love is needed all around the earth. Our lives change forever on the day of his birth. Thanks be to God, our words fill the air. Ready, set, go, I'll race you there. What does God go in peace to love and serve the Lord mean to you? Look at that, the earth and the stars in the sky. Peace is needed all around our world. This section is called rest. God created the earth, the moon, and the sun. Blue whales that swim and spotted cheetahs that run. Day one, day two, day three, and day four. Wait, God's not finished. There are still a few more. Day five and day six, the beauty of creation. Birds of every color, people of every nation. Day one through day seven, God said, this is good. Then God rested like you and I should. Deep breaths, meditations, and peaceful play. 
this has been a relaxing day. Ooh, what do you see there in that ocean? It's a big whale that God created. When we don't slow down, close our eyes and rest, we are weak, overwhelmed, and not at our best. We've got work to do, and that takes energy. It's part of life's rhythm for you and for me. Look at this frog laying on his back and sleeping. He's resting. What do you do to slow down and rest? Jesus is love. This is clear. God walks among us and holds us near. We turn toward the light. We grow and we change. Some days full of wonder, some days just strange. We learn when we listen, practice and read. Stories of Jesus teach us the skills that we need. We pray the Lord's Prayer like Jesus taught us to do. You pray for me, and I pray for you. We gather together to worship God's Son. He is strength and might and loves us, each one. We bless one another with our joy and our smiles, whether we live near each other or across many miles. We go through those doors to love and to serve to feed, to comfort, to calm an anxious nerve. Then we must slow down. Life can be a test. Jesus taught us that love is the way. I hope you have the very best day. And our last picture is of a tree with a ladder. Maybe it's going to a tree house where someone might rest. I hope you've enjoyed this story and we will come back and look at the pictures and talk about some of the things that it asks us in, these, in this book. In the meantime, we miss you so much and we love you and we hope that you're staying safe, that you're wearing a mask and doing social distancing, staying away from one another. Be well, stay safe, wear your mask. We love you.